Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create this shot where I'm walking on a tree over the river using Blender and After Effects. So let's get started. First let's see what we need to make this happen. This is the original background shot we'll be working with. Next I took a shot of me on a green screen and the tree above the river is a 3D model. Now let's fire up Blender. Start off by importing your tree model. I got this one from the Quixel Bridge Megascans library and exported it to Blender. Now let's bring in our background shot. Go to the motion tracking tab, import your footage and set the frame range you want to use. You can add the tracking markers manually or use the detect features option. If you want more tracks you can tweak these settings. Next choose the tracking model based on your footage. In my case the perspective changes quite a lot so I'll go with the perspective option. Hit A to select all tracks and start tracking. Once that's done we can go to the solve tab. I'll delete the less accurate tracks using the filter tracks feature. Set your keyframe A and B. These should be frames between which the camera moves a lot and there is a large amount of parallax. If you don't know the focal length of the camera, you can choose to refine focal length. Now solve the camera. Solve error under 1 pixel should be fine. So we can set up the tracking scene and set the floor origin and scale. Rotate the camera around the 3D cursor to match your scene. Then reposition and scale the tree model. I even stretched and duplicated it to make it longer. Next I went to Polyhaven and searched for an HDRI image that would roughly match my shot. In the world type under color choose environment texture and import your HDRI. In the shading tab select the image texture node and press Ctrl T. This will give you the mapping nodes if you have the node wrangler add-on enabled. This way you can rotate the HDRI and you can also use the RGB curves node to adjust it even more. I also added a sun lamp to adjust the lighting and used some more trees to cast shadows onto the fallen tree trunk. I put these trees into their own collection and set them as indirect only so they won't be visible in the final render. Furthermore let's bring in the green screen shot. Of course we need to key out the green screen first. For that you can use for example the key light effect in After Effects and then export it out with alpha channel so you get a transparent background. I made a quick tutorial about this a while ago so it will be linked down in the description below. Back in Blender, enable the Import Images as Planes add-on and then go to File, Import, Images as Planes. If you exported an image sequence, make sure to check Animate Image Sequences. Now we can place this plane on the tree. You may need to offset the image sequence to synchronize it with the background. To create a body shadow, I duplicated the image plane and rotated it to get a different angle that would cast a shadow onto the tree. You can also subdivide the plane and deform it to align it better with the body. Move this plane into a separate collection so you can set it as indirect only. You may also need to animate the position of this shadow plane so that it sticks to the body. Here you'll find the auto keyframing option. If you would like to animate the individual vertices of this shadow plane, you can use the Anim All add-on. Also if we look at the tree there should be some light hitting it from the bottom, the light which bounces off of the ground. So make sure the ground plane has the same texture as your background shot, subdivide it and in edit mode hit U project from view. Then in the object tab set it to holdout. And again you can use the RGB curves to adjust the look. Finally change your render settings and render the animation. In compositing I made some simple masks to hide the tree trunk behind the other trees, adjusted the colors and added a fake rim light. 
You can achieve something like this with a CC light sweep effect. And we are done. I hope you found this useful and if you did please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.